What's up everybody, it's your boy Reggie Casual, hitting you with a dose of Japan every week as we do. This time we're covering specifically streetwear or streetwear inspired labels and or brands. Not just brands that can be molded into the streetwear aesthetics because if we did that, then it would probably be every damn label on the planet. So I'm gonna give a 10 spot to the streetwear fans who like Japanese stuff. And we'll do some other lists. We'll probably cover luxury designer accessories and other episodes. Who the hell knows? But street right now, because honestly, that's where a lot of us start. So let us begin. Let, let us. <laughs> that's where a lot of us start. So let us begin. Intro. First up, we got the newest of the bunch, Libere. I think that's how you say it. Launching in 2019, Libere is a traditional high-end streetwear brand that offers the best in graphic prints, Japanese collaborations, and a large dose of utilities. We're talking cargos and wider silhouettes strewn throughout, and it plays well with many street styles of the day. It's the style du jour for street. In 2021, the brand secured a collaboration with Naruto, of all animations, and probably probably one of the most ambitious takes on an anime collab I've ever seen. Somehow they managed to make certain intro pieces in real life and make it work. So if you're into that playful streetwear that takes a little bit more of your interest as far as animation or graphic tees and it's a little just, just a little bit more playful, libere. I think they have international shipping, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure that they have it. So just check out their website. If you want a more punk, gritty, classic take on street, then the black eye patch is where you are headed. While not the most progressive in terms of design, the black eye patch serves as a reminder that these skate styles of yesteryear are still viable in style. It's terrible. A workwear strain also prevails throughout the brand and the collabs with Verdi and even H&M are noteworthy, but be fair warned, this brand is as close to hype can get in Japan. It sells out fairly quickly and is beginning to be set up as Japan's answer to Supreme. So you know what that means. Everybody wants it. Probably the best way to get it would be Yahoo Auctions, Merukari, using a proxy, something like that. Most of the stuff that most of the stuff that we talk about, you can use like Merukari or Yahoo Auctions and just use a proxy. You can even use English in Yahoo Auctions. Even though it's Japanese, you can just type in what you're looking for or like a brand that you're looking for and, and you'll likely find it. Moving on, if Black Eye Patch is the classic take on skate, then Hombre Niño is a slightly more elevated version of that same thing. While not as popular as its kindred spirit, Hombre Niño doesn't slack in terms of design cachet and styling, which is where the strength of the brand lies. While pieces are suitable in their own right alone, it's the entire styling of Hombre Niño that packs a big punch, adding a little bit more sophistication and maturity that's often missing with streetwear brands with heavy classical influence. Hombre Niño can be found on their site and it's not uber, uber popular, so you should be able to find a few pieces both on the graphic end and on the cut and sew end. So definitely check out their website. And as always, yes, Yahoo Auctions, Merukari, these things, those will help you get Japanese brands. I promise you. Because everybody asks me, yo, how can I get these brands, son? And I'm like, I thought everybody knew this. Yahoo Auctions, Merukari, sometimes these websites have international shipping. It's just best to check. One of my favorites on this list, not due to just the style, I personally don't wear it, but I just like what it represents. Son of the Cheese. It's not a huge brand, but for those that know it, they love it. More of a lifestyle than a simple fashion brand, Son of the Cheese is yet another in the line of vintage inspired brands that Japan and Japanese designers and just Japanese people in the community love so much. The pieces are often amazing and different while being less about bombastic showcase. Styling is heavy and the lack of overt branding is a plus. The best thing, the brand runners are approachable and live the same kind of life that the brand invokes, making it probably the most authentic on this list as far as brands connecting to a lifestyle are concerned. 
We're gonna keep it going, keeping it going. Hysteric Glamour, it's an oldie, but a goodie. Now, most of you may recognize Hysteric Glamour from its collabs with streetwear powerhouse Supreme, but a little bit look under that hood and you'll find a fantastic label that is a great take on its musical influences as its name implies or suggests whichever word. Glamour is an aesthetic taken straight from the musical forays of the American 60s into the 80s and filtered into a modern lens. Sarah Glamour is a great label to emphasize a classic Americana approach, therefore, without being too on the nose or worse, outdated. What's even better, brand forerunner Nobuhiko Kitamura has launched several extensions of the brand, including a men's line, a women's line, a kid's line, as well as a higher end line, Hysteric. So all the bases are covered However, this one is a little bit harder to pick up even on Yahoo auctions, even on Medocati because not a lot of people like to sell their hysteric glamour. I'm not sure if their website does international shipping, but it'd be worth a check. It'd be worth a try. Softnet is another one of my favorites on this list. It's, it's actually several brands in one, which includes Softnet, The Mainline, Uniform Experiment, and FC Real Bristol. Each brand taking on different styles and vibes entirely. This is one that's known to a lot of people who know about Japanese brands. Softnet has always been pretty big as far as an underground label that Japanese streetwear fans don't tell anybody about but here I am telling you now. But let me go ahead and give you the rundown of all three of these labels. So FC Real Bristol takes on sports and athletic inspired wear and has collabed with Nike several times. You got Uniform Experiment. It has a little bit of a utilitarian workwear, classic street vibe mix. It sounds crazy, but you'll get it when you see it in the images. You're looking at the images now. And Soft or Softnet is the elevated and noticeably more expensive approach to that aesthetics, like the grown up approach to all of this. What's great about the Soft family is that it strikes all the bells without deviating from a core style. Each of the brands can nearly fit together while each maintaining an independence from one another. It's a pretty cool process. And one of the first labels in the street arena that I personally still check out from time to time due to how consistent they are. So definitely check out, especially Softnet. That's one of my, that's, it's a good one. Now, as far as getting it, Softnet website. Softnet website and what I said before. Now, here's one that may seem a bit strange, right? CDG. Now, this is weird if you're unaware of the pantheon of Conde Garçon labels, but less weird if you kind of know about it because CDG is actually a new street-centric label under Comme des Garçons. It was launched in 2018 after the good design shop here in Japan was closed, which carried the CDG acronym pieces. Like it's an acronym, like the CDG. And they were more street-centric and played on that logofication style. Now it's separated from the good design shop and it's its own brand. Therefore, it's a lot easier to get because CDG is positioned as an internet logo street like brand. As far as the brand itself, it's less playful and honestly less dated as CDG Play. And it's more adventurous. It serves as an entry point for street fans that have a proclivity towards the avant-garde or experimental. So with CDG, you won't have to give up on street, but instead learn how to fuse it, add it, until you eventually graduate to more complex styles offered in the main line or OM, OM Plus, and CDG shirt. So it's a great little segue for those. And like I said, Dover Street Market online, I believe it actually has its own site too. So CDG, the site, it should be popping up here somewhere. So yeah, yeah, you can get it quite easily, I might add. So next, uh, much like CDG, if you're more of a Yoji Yamamoto fan, Ground Y is probably where you should start. Complete with graphic tees and collabs, Ground Y still employs typical Yoji silhouettes, making it one of the most progressive on this list of street inspired brands, even more so than CDG. This is due to the fact that it isn't traditional street, but street inspired. This kind of uses the street methodology with Yoji cut and sew and silhouette to graduate those wearing ground Y into the more nuanced labels easily. Pieces are essentially Y's and mainline Yoji Yamamoto starters, which is great for those who like that silhouette, but aren't really ready to go all the way or want to add an element of street into it. Another great thing about Ground Y, they collaborate with plenty 
of different entities from Evangelion to well, One Piece to Marilyn Monroe. I mean, an artist here in Japan, Ground White is fantastic. You can check it out at the shop Yoji Yamamoto and you will not be disappointed. Another brand is on there. It's an online only brand called Sight or Sai, whatever they like to call it. It's the Yoji Yamamoto planning department and it has a lot of simple basic pieces and the quality is basically on par with Mainline stuff, it's just not as detailed and nuanced. These are basically framework pieces, the Yoji silhouette with less of the detail, but still really, really good. In fact, it's one of my go-tos for just regular pieces. The next one is good. Now, to be clear, Fumito Ganryu doesn't even call his stuff streetwear. He calls it casual wear, which, which is just, it's just great. You know I love that. But simply put, if you are a fan of street, but you want to see how far it can go without deviating into the whole world of CDG or Yoji Yamamoto, Fumito Ganryu's namesake label is exactly where you want to be. While initially debuting under the Comme des Garçons banner as Ganryu, Fumito, the designer, left the company after 10 years only to start his own independent menswear venture with Fumito Ganryu, his whole name. And hot damn, is it a continuation of fantastic. But why wouldn't it be? This is a guy who made his chops working at Comme des Garçons and it shows. A master of fabric and construction, Fumito takes seemingly plain pieces and reconstructs them in amazing ways. We're talking about the voluminous, the drapey, the layering, whatever. Gondia is just great work. Just great work. And his fabric choice is just a chef's kiss. But I'm not gonna lie to you, it is not the most approachable on the list. It's definitely one of the most admirable, but it's hard to get into if you're unfamiliar with the silhouette or unfamiliar with putting those kind of pieces together, even if they have inspiration coming from street. Nonetheless, you should definitely check it out. Some sites that you can check it out is of course Yahoo Auctions, United Arrows might carry a few pieces, but I believe Sense on the international stage also carries it along with Maybe Farfetch might carry some of it too, so you might want to check out those websites. And finally, if you know me, I've been naming this brand more often than I can count every time. Monkey Time, right? Under the United Arrows H Beauty and Youth banner. Monkey Time is what I often call the absolute best in street fashion basics, more so than any other brand in its category. It combines high quality, great fabric choice, and just damn near timeless pieces in the world of street, which is hard to do. Uh, you know how you have like pieces in your closet that after a few years of being off trend, they just leave the rotation? Well, Monkey Time solves that problem by somehow making those kind of pieces mainstays. Don't ask me how they do it. Well, mainly they just focus on providing them in a less trendy format while using superior fabric or experimental cut and sew techniques that are subtle and tasteful enough to transcend seasons. So I guess I, I do know how they do it. It's the reason why when I'm personally looking for a street inspired piece like a hoodie or a crew or anything, I instantly check Monkey Time. It's that consistent. Not to mention the collabs they get are equally amazing and worth a look. While not readily available out west, you'll likely find a ton of Monkey Time from Yahoo Auctions and Zozo Town Used, as well as United Arrows Beauty and Youth. I believe United Arrows has international shipping, although it can be convoluted. However, don't miss out on it. It's, it's a great label. It, it really should be out west, to be honest with you. So those are 10, 10 I say, 10 streetwear specific or inspired labels from Japan that you should definitely check out if you're a big streetwear head. You have a big streetwear head. And maybe you happen to come out here post pandemic. Now you got some brands to choose from, wherever that may be. But of course, we'd love for you to add some brands yourself, so have at it in the comments. And if you want more insight into the world and business of fashion or personal branding, join us on Patreon. to Get access to our special series class, <laughs> little Patreon plug, where we help aspiring entrepreneurs build their brands and business. And you'll also gain access to our private Discord, which is great. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info in international street fashion culture and business from Tokyo, it's your boy, and keep it casual. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. And I will see you guys in a minute. More stuff soon. Overtime for, for, for people who are on Patreon. Yeah, you get those too. Extra episodes, like extended episodes and stuff. So yeah, overtime after this. See you guys in a minute.